Hey everyone, in this video we will implement the ingredient slots. We will have images of the item needed and we also have the item amount from the inventory. Then of course we also show the amount needed to craft this item. And lastly, when we have not enough items in our inventory, we will paint the border red. And that's it. Let's begin by going to the widgets folder, into the crafting folder and inside here we want to have a new user widget. Call this WB ingredients slot. Inside the ingredient slot, we want to set the screen size to custom, and then we will use something like 400 by 45. As the parent, we use the size box. And inside here, we can just go to the height and we can override this with 50, like this. This will make sure that when we use this widget in another widget, the height will be 14. Now let's begin to add a horizontal box. And then we want to add a border to it. Click on the border and make it fill. And then let's change the brush color to a blue color. And let's bring the opacity down. Something like this. Then inside this border, we want again a horizontal box. And inside this horizontal box, make it child of the border. We will add an image. And after the image, I want to have a text. Like this. For the image, let's make sure to override the X and Y to 40 by 40 and then center it like this. Now we have this a five a pixel left. So click on the horizontal box and let's add five pixel on the bottom so that we have a, a short margin when we add more ingredient slots to the ingredients view. Then let's add to the image a left and right padding of 10 like this. And let's shrink down the size of the text. Let's center it also. This can be a weapon one, for example. And we want to have a light text font. For the item amount, we can just take this border, click on the horizontal box and paste it again. So inside here, we remove the image. And then on this border, we say auto. And the text can be then something like three of five. Let's wrap this border with the size box. So we can have a, a min width of 15, for example, or let's do 75 like this. And this text here should be right aligned. And we want a small padding of 10 on the right side like this. If you like, you can also change the border color here to a different color. But then make sure that we center this one out. So it looks a bit cleaner like this. That's it for the ingredient slot. We go back now to the WB ingredients view. This one. Go to the graph. At the moment, every time we click on an item, we update our crafting data. So we can create a new custom event here. Update ingredient slots. And here we take our current crafting item and we break it. From the ingredients, we get the keys. Then we, for each loop, over the keys. And from uh, this one, we want to have the soft reference. So in this ingredients, we have uh, the items and then the amount. So now we want to find the item we are currently looping through. So we get the needed amount, which is this one. 
And if we can also use this to track if we found this item, so it's a double check. And if it's true, we want to create a widget. And this widget will be our newly created ingredient slots. Click here to open the WB ingredient slot and go to the graph and inside here, let's create a variable item amount and a variable item data. The first one will be an integer and the second one will be the reference to our A master pickup item. And make sure to use the class reference here, like this. Then click on the item amount and pick instance editable and expose on spawn. Just to make sure that we can set this from the opening uh, point, which is here. So now right click refresh notes and the item amount will be here from the ingredients and the item class will be here converted like this. Then we go back to the designer and check if our container is in variable. It is not. Click here. And then we can just grab this and add child. Like this. And finally, make sure that you uh, call this method after you updated the crafting slot like this. Oh, and one thing I forgot is to refresh the ingredients container. So clear it before we add children's again, like this. Compile and play. Press C and click on the items. And as you can see, we have already our weapons in here. Now we can not see which are needed because we need to set up the data correctly. So let's do this. For this to work, we need to parse the player ref from our WB crafting menu to the ingredients view and then to the slots. So that every slot can check if the player has enough items to craft. Go to the graph. Go to the event begin play here at the top. And let's get our ingredients view. And of course we need the player ref in here and we search for the VP third person uh, we can use a soft object reference after that go to the uh, crafting menu again and inside here we get our WB ingredients view and we set the player ref this one connect those two like this, compile and save. And then we do the same for the slot. So we add here a player ref and change to a soft object reference, compile and save. And oh, I forgot to say expose on spawn and it's this editable. Then we can go back to the ingredients view, refresh the node and plug in the player ref like this. And then we can start working on the ingredient slot. Inside here, we get our item data first and we get the defaults. From the image, we say make brush like this 40 by 40. And then we get our image in and set the brush. So we set the image. And after that, we get our player ref and we say resolve soft reference. And then we get the AC inventory. Then let's open the AC inventory. And inside here, we need a new function, which is called is item in inventory. This will use as an input and name and not the item itself, so a uh, string. And then we want to get the inventory and we want to find the key. And then we want to return the item and if it's found like this. 
go back to your slot and call this new function is item in inventory this one and here we connect the name of the item and then we get the item which we break and then we get the amount which is in our inventory to a new variable called inventory amount of this item and the item amount will be changed to item amount needed like this can go to the ac inventory and change the name here to has item question mark and item data now let's go to the designer click on the weapon and let's create a new binding where we get the item data we get the defaults and we just connect the string to it like this for the item amount it's a bit trickier but let's create a new binding also and here we want now to get the player ref we want to resolve we want to get the ac inventory like before and then our newly created variable uh, function sorry and then we get the item data, get the defaults, connect the name. Now we check if we have an item. From the true branch, we get another if, where we check if the item amount needed and the inventory amount, if this one is greater or equal. So the inventory amount is greater or equal the item amount needed. This is true. We also want to do something else. Then let's get the append a string node. Add another pin and we want to have a slash and space before and after. On C we want to have the item amount needed and on A we want to have the current inventory amount. If um, this is correct. We would just want to set the text and everything can be as it is. And if it's not, we want to change our border. So click on the right border and this will be border amount. Make it a variable and the other one will be border item name. Also a variable. Like this. And we get both of these borders in. make some space in here and of course we want to set a deep brush from this one and we also want to set the brush from this one and then we want to also set the text but in this case the text or the border need to be red so let's make a variable which will be border amount red and this one we will be border item name red and actually get this in here and here and then let's uh, duplicate this one this will be normal and this will get also a normal variant And before we continue, uh, let's copy uh, the uh, brush here. This is the item name, normal, compile, and then you can just paste in this one. And we also want to paste in from, undo this, copy, and paste it into the amount normal. For the red one, we can do almost the same. We paste in this one, but then we also have to change the color to uh, something like this. The 
Let's copy this. And let's paste this also. If you like, you can change the intensity of this color. And if we have not the item in inventory, we can just copy and paste here uh, this. Like this. And connect it here. And for the text, we put this in here and we say here we have the hero and the amount needed can be connected. Then compile and check if your WB ingredient slot widget is uh, has an error like mine because we changed the name. So refresh and this one will be item amount needed. And now we can test it. Start the game. Pick some iron and some wood up. What we will need in our crafting widget. Click on the sword and as you can see here. We have correctly updated the data. When I click on the longsword, which needs five, it will be painted red. But the image does not get uh, updated here. So let's check why this is. First thing to check is if our resource have an image selected. And as you can see, I have no image. So let me just do this. And after you updated both of the items and we play again, Pick some items up, press C, click on this word, and now you can see the image gets painted. One small thing I want to add here is a space at the top. So for this, we go into the ingredients view, and here we have our ingredients container. I will add a top heading of five, like this. And now when we pick some items up, we press C, we check everything and it looks much, much better and cleaner. That's it for this one. In the next one, we will start working on the craft button. So that when we have enough items, we can actually craft this item and add it to our inventory. Stay tuned. See you in the next one. Bye.